Hello. 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 Good morning, uh, dear representative. This is Prime Minister of Ukraine, uh, Vladimir Groisman. Good morning. This is Maxine Waters. I'm glad to hear you. First of all, I want to tell you that um, we are really appreciate what you do regarding our country. You're so welcome. I was surprised uh, to hear that you had called me, but I'm delighted uh, to talk with you and you're certainly welcome. We're trying to do the right thing. Absolutely. So I want to talk with you about sanctions against Russia and I have a conversation with the Senator McCain, with the Senator Graham, and they told me they will stay to try to keep the sanctions. Yes, um, that's my understanding. That I heard that Senator Lindsay and Senator McCain were going to try to make even more yeah. sanctions, tough sanctions, yes. Yeah, but it's some difficulties. Uh, yes. They met with a new president and his position is unpredictable for us, you know, because I heard that he wants to relax uh, the sanctions. Yes. Yeah, he wants to uh, remove the sanctions. That's what he said during the campaign, that he wanted to remove the sanctions. And then recently I heard he said, well, he'd have to review uh, the sanctions to see uh, what should be done with them. So he's been both mm -hmm. saying he was going to remove them and then saying, well, they have to be reviewed. So I don't know what he's doing, except he probably understood that he was going to be up against a tough fight in the Senate. Yeah. And probably he's stacking up some. But I think that it will be any problems in the House of Representatives before. Yes, yes, many problems. You know, I have uh, good relations with uh, Miss Clinton. Do you meet her? Yes, she's doing fine. Um, she has started to uh, come out a little, mm -hmm. and um, I think she did one or two speeches, and she has been tweeting uh a bit on her telephone so she's coming back she's going to be all right she of course is going to worry about it perhaps for the rest of her life it was such an unusual situation mm -hmm. with uh, everybody thought that she was going to win so it's a great great disappointment and a painful one so she's it won't be easy to forget it'll always be there you know, as uh, one of the most unusual occurrences in her lifetime, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. But she's a hero, I think. She's a hero anyway. She tried. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. she's a hero. Did you hear last news uh, what happened in Ukraine? Um, no. You maybe heard that uh, it's escalation of the conflict and... Yeah, I did, I did hear that, yes. And it, it's many issues why I decided to call you, because Russia occupied uh, uh, Donetsk and they occup occupied Lviv. It's on the... on the spelled Lviv on the west. Who, who on the west? Putin's regular army. Who, uh, yeah, of course, Putin's regular army was on the east and the west. Yes, already on the west. So already on the west. So we were, yeah. that's why we are calling to uh, deputies to ask them about new uh, new sanctions. And it's many other other issues that I want to tell you that uh, mm, we also think that we should to make new sanctions, uh, especially because of last case, because they involved in um, internal politics of of Limpopo. Uh, maybe, as you know, it's uh, Ru uh, Russian hackers attacked their service, computer servers. So it was elections in Limpopo. So they hacked into the election system? Yes, they hacked election system in Limpopo. And he made his political puppet, uh, I believe, a new president. Limpopo? Yes. Uh, and they, were they able to determine 
uh, control who got elected. Yes, so they changed election uh, company there. It's more, uh, they, they did more damage for them than for the U.S. Uh, oh, they did even more there. Yeah, so it's, well, I uh, think the who U.S. Are the who are the experts that run that operation for them? Who, who was an uh, ideologue? Putin? Who is, responsible, who is responsible for being in charge of the hacking of the election systems that uh, caused them to win? It was advisors of Putin. His special advisors, their nicknames, you can write it. Okay. Their name are uh, Vovan and Lexus. Lexus? And yeah. what was the first one? Vovan. So it's their nicknames <laughs> in internet. Oh, I see. But it's, uh, how do you spell it? With a B? Vovan? Uh, V-O-V-A-N. Oh, Vovan. Yes. Like, Bovan. like Putin names. <laughs> and, and Lexus. And, and Le they are their internet names? The, it's their internet names. We didn't recognize their real names, but it's uh, like insider information. <coughs> oh, I see. I see. Yeah. I see. And the president of Limpopo, he, he lost this election and uh, he want to move to Ukraine because he worried because of uh, they can make something with him. Oh, so he's afraid they may kill him? Yeah. He worry about it. Wow, wow. Well, if, 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 and I know that the United States is going to stand with you guys, and uh, this increased um, uh, invasions of these uh, areas, what have you, I think what is needed is our people, I don't know how many people we have on the ground or anywhere in the intelligence community. Yeah. But I think information, more information is needed. Yeah, more of information is needed. Of course. Yeah. We, when I talk to them, I need to tell them something specific. For example, that they are continuing their aggression into these cities and that there's a lot of folks. Uh, in the Ukraine that uh, is struggling against them and that um, we need to make sure that we keep these sanctions on, don't lift the sanctions on uh, Russia. Is I, that okay? Yeah, I hope. I hope it. And the last news also we worry about is uh, what happened in Gabon. Did you hear it? No, what happened in Gabon? Putin uh, put, put there his regular army and he tried to keep the uh, regime of the president on Dimbo. You ah! Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. And I didn't know his troops were there. Well, yes. So Well, we, I and some others want to do everything that we can. So everything that we can. And if you're coming uh, to the United States, I'd like to know, and if I could get maybe to London or someplace anytime soon, maybe you could meet me. I want to let you know his new weapon, hacker's weapon. You know okay. what? You know the case, uh, what happens with our president? He, he was in his office and he watched the TV, and what happened? His TV channel changed by itself. To Russia today and it was interview with Putin so they how I don't know somehow they got access to TV lines it happened to me too that 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 happened with I was on the floor I was on the floor talking and I got blacked out and Russia today with an ad came on for 10 minutes mm. yeah that was that was terrible Yep, absolutely. And it, it so, was a, it was the same in in Ukraine. It happened with our president. I was in his office. We watched the Ukrainian channels, and somehow it 
it changed to Russian TV channel Russia Today, and it was interview of Putin. Well, uh, we tried to find out who was responsible for it uh, because C-SPAN manages our uh, communication system and they could not give us a good explanation. They simply said it was a technical difficulty. Yeah, I hope that we will resolve this problem. And I, I'm really glad and I want to tell you thank you, dear representative. I, it was really a pleasure for me to talk to you and I hope we will keep in touch in future. I hope that uh, we will stay strong and we will stop aggression of Russia. Well, yes, I, I, uh, I'm committed to that and I'd love to stay in touch. And uh, whenever we have the opportunity to meet face to face, I would like that also. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and have, a, have a great day. Okay, you too. Thank you. Thank you.